In this video, I'm going to be going over something fairly important. Pick Monkey is no longer free! Pick Monkey is no longer a free application to use. Now, of course, I have my qualms about this whole thing. There's a lot of uproar about this whole thing on cyberspace. Uh, Kevin Hart likes to call it the Twitter, Twitter's Twitterverse or Twitter Sphere or something like that. I think he calls it Twitterverse. But nonetheless, all of social media is really just like really honkering down on this thing because this is a huge, huge change when it comes to a lot of people making thumbnails for YouTube, when it comes to graphics on like Pinterest and things of that nature. I use PicMonkey myself. Now, PicMonkey isn't the only thing that I use, but I use a lot of other softwares outside of PicMonkey. And so I'm also gonna be giving you guys some alternatives to use if PicMonkey is your sole source as far as producing content um, with graphics and whatever. But I'ma just let you guys read it for yourselves. This isn't fake news. This isn't breaking news on CNN quite yet. But um, let me just turn this around so that you can actually see what Picky, Pick Monkey says about it yourselves. Okay, I brought you to this website so that you can read it on your own. Check it out. Pick Monkey posted this not too long ago. What's the date? September or something. Uh, it's like. I want to say it was this month. It was either early, early this month or super late last month. There you go. Um, September 19th. I was thinking 17th. September 19th is when they posted this whole article. You guys can go there yourselves. Pickmonkey.com backslash uh, blog changes to Pickmonkey. And they made this blog post, right? Making it seem as if you're going over to their website and reading something very cool. Times are changing, and so is PicMonkey. Uh-oh, you already know. Something scary is about to happen, and I may not like it. It's time for some real talk. But don't worry, we promise it'll be less awkward than a birds and a bees. Nothing is less awkward than that combo right there. That you had with your parents. If you've used our desktop photo editing and graphic design tools lately, you may have noticed that the crowns are gone. And that's for like all the free uh, users out there which the majority of people are free users. And I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but long story short, they say that for the for those who have the free version, you now have to use a seven day trial, excuse me, a seven day trial um, in order to export those pictures. So you can continue to edit software or you can continue to uh, edit the pictures, but you cannot continue to export it if you have the free account. And so, of course, they go into it a little bit more here about the different memberships that you can buy. And then, of course, you're wondering, man, I've been using PicMonkey as a free software for so many years and it's awesome. What am I able to do? I got some other variations, some some different alternatives for you to use. But, you know, I really wanted to touch on this whole thing with PicMonkey transferring from a or transitioning more so from a free um, software to a paid piece of software. So PicMonkey is very cool because, <clears throat> excuse me, you're able to do more stuff than the actual, than, than the uh, average free software out there. You can edit and change eye color. You're able to make your font go in like these little wavy formats and all this stuff. It's very cool, very conducive for somebody who wants more than just the average functions of you know free photo editing software you want the power of like a photoshop but yet you don't want to pay photoshop money and then all of a sudden you go to the other extreme end and you want a free software but then those free softwares don't really give you the power and capabilities that you're able to use if you are that like creative individual if you want to do something super 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 cool right pick monkey was a nice place right in the middle and so pick monkey says why why did we go from a free software to the new software and i'm an entrepreneur at heart so i kind of understand both sides but you know pick monkey is saying we have all these cool features and all you guys with the free accounts are not able to really have access to all these 
features that we're developing and that we're creating. So in order to make everybody have great usage of all the features that we make, we're going to have to force you to buy the paid membership. Now, of course, they want to make money. I understand that. Again, from an entrepreneur standpoint, I totally get that. But if I'm just an individual who's just looking for free software, I'm pissed. And so that's why I say like I kind of linger between both sides. I'm straddling the fence on this one because I understand both sides of the argument. Now, for those of you who are just strictly free users and you're extremely pissed off and you're going to boycott pick monkey because it's no longer a free membership. <laughs> I understand, but I don't because <laughs> there's a lot of free stuff out there, such as Canva.com. Um, Canva has a lot of stuff. I've created a lot of Pinterest things with Canva. I've created a lot of Facebook ads and stuff, and it's been very conducive for me, but it's not the power of pick monkey. You get what you pay for. And in the case of it being free, which is now going over to a paid membership, I would pay the money and I do pay the money. I think it's something very small, like six bucks a month in order to have all the full capabilities of PicMonkey. It's very well worth the money, especially if you're producing content. And if you're like me, you're creating thumbnails, you're creating Pinterest images, you're creating stuff for your blog. And I use all this stuff to turn it into money. I monetize these graphics. Thus, I'm able to use that money and pay for the membership. I mean, come on, guys. I know that you want free stuff, but, you know, let's use it in a smart way so that you're using it to make money so that it's not just an expense. And then another alternative is GIMP. I don't have it installed on this particular computer while I'm doing my recording, but I got it on two of my other computers. I'm a computer nerd, guys. And so, yes, I am a black computer nerd who plays basketball. I know you've never seen it. I'm the first one. Anyway, GIMP. How do you pronounce this crazy thing? But it's awesome. This has kind of like the power of a Photoshop. But uh, there's a learning curve. But it's very well worth the learning curve. I was able to do a lot of stuff. But what I've noticed is that I don't really use GIMP for such powerful things. Therefore, I was able to use PicMonkey. PicMonkey was very user friendly for me. Um, you know, Canva, which is what I just showed you, is a whole lot more user friendly for the beginner user. Um, PicMonkey is probably another step up. However, it is still very simple. You know, your point, you click, you drag, you drop. Boom. It's very simple. But nonetheless, um, you know, I, I highly recommend that for you guys who are upset with PicMonkey. I understand. But you have to also understand for somebody to continue to put out all this fantastic content and features, they should be getting paid for it. You do a service to get paid. So if <laughs> you, you probably went to Sonic's and, and bought... Um, Yes, I'm in a different place. If you don't have a Sonics, maybe you have an In-N-Out burger. If I had my choice, it would be Krispy Kreme donuts with the hot donut now sign on. And I would gladly pay my $7.59 for a dozen of hot glazed Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> if I'm going to go ahead and pay that much, guess what? I can go ahead and pay a month's worth of membership for pick monkey it's that simple guys you know you put gas in your car every day you stop at starbucks every day whatever your little hobby is look just pay this crazy membership um when it comes to pick monkey it's very cheap guys it really is as a matter of fact let me see if they have their prices on here i will actually provide a link down below um because i i do have an affiliate link with them yes I, I recommend these guys. This isn't just something so that you guys can purchase my link uh, from my link or anything. This is I'm, I'm very serious about this whole thing. Let me see if I just put a fictitious email in here. Johnny boy at gmail.com. I'm wasting time doing this. Let me see if it gives me prices. Oh my God. Apartment building, apartment building, apartment building. Maybe that wasn't apartment building, we'll see. 
<laughs> if this doesn't work, guys, I'm done. Okay, boom. Look. I said $7.59 for a box of donuts. I was close with the premium monthly price, but the premium annual, uh, you're, you're getting billed. This is, I believe, if you go for paying it all throughout the year. So $3.99 times 12. 47 bucks and 88 cents. It's not bad for a whole year's worth, guys. I mean, again, if you use a lot of the graphics that, like I do, ugh, 50 bucks is nothing. This will pay itself off in the first couple of weeks or a week. Or you could pay $7.99 each month, which is eight bucks a month. If for you guys who just pump out YouTube videos left and right all the time, which I don't like that, but I, I do them every now and then. But you know, you create thumbnails consistently. You guys need the software. Eight bucks is tiny for what you guys do. All right. So that's pretty much it about my rant. If you want to call that a rant, um, pick monkey. I'm, I'm a little upset, but <laughs> I understand. I feel for you. Um, canva.com. You're probably going to get a lot more business. People are going to begin to buy your pictures because if you don't have a particular membership, they also have a paid membership. Everybody's going to have a paid membership at the end of this day. Shoot. Gimp probably might have a paid membership at the end of the day, but, um, for the most part, you can do everything you need to on camera. Oh, one last thing. If you really, 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 really love pick monkey, right? And you don't want to pay nothing. Like you're just, your your core, your heart to the core, and you're not you refuse to pay for anything. You can still create your stuff on PicMonkey if you already have a free account. And something that you can consider to do is just do a print screen and then paste it within a software like Paint or whatever you guys got. And then just uh screenshot it. And save it. It's that simple. Crop. Boom. I got my picture and I didn't pay for it. So that's something you guys can do. You save it as a um, JPEG or whatever format you want to with the picture. So that's it from my end, guys. Thank you so much. Whatever decisions you decide to make, I feel for you. But my recommendations, I gave them all to you, and we will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe to my page if this video was helpful at all, and um, check out my website, occupationemancipation.com. The rest of my information is down below, plus the link for PicMonkey. It is an affiliate website. I have to throw that out there um, because I use it, and I definitely recommend it. But... Um, if you got any other questions about any softwares or any suggestions about any software that you have that I didn't name, post it in the comments below. Help other people out. We'll holler at you guys later.